hometown, the local hotel, and there was this guy that came up for the class, Rex Nolan. <laughs> and when we went out to lunch, he started showing all the, I don't know how many we had, there's six or nine or whatever. He started showing the other students SpongeBob magic. The next time we started up with Mooseburger Cam, Rex was on staff. I made costumes when we went to Japan for this girl named Karen Bell. <laughs> I never met her, but I made her costumes. And when I went to the Clown College reunion in Las Vegas, I finally met Karen Bell. And I knew I wanted her to come and work at this program. camp. I met all kinds of wonderful people along the way, and I'm just very blessed to have them want to join me on this crazy walk. I don't do this by myself. Make no mistake, I have no delusion. Without, the, without all my friends, every single person on staff, that's why we're able to do what we do. They keep me on track, they take care of Sweet Connie is an organizational queen. With, you know what, and she's just right on top. Everyone has their special, their special role to play, and they do it so well. And I just feel really blessed that they're here to help me keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I've knocked my nose off a few times. Mama <coughs> Kari caught me, just cold caught me one time. We were, uh, on the circus we would, um, at the end of the circus we all ran into the center ring and the ring that's were standing on the elephant tub and we, you know, da -da 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 -da. Well, we did it the same way every time, two shows a day, three shows on Saturday, and we would run into the arena, and we would run down the back track, and we would jump over the ring curb, and go around the elephant tub with the ringmaster on it. And one day, Paul McCurry decided to jump on the ring curb, instead of jumping over the ring curb, he stopped and went like this. Oh. My face was right there. What? <laughs> and I was, hit me right in the face, and I washed my nose go. <laughs> and bounce around on the track, which was really nasty because the elephants poop on it and everything. <laughs> and I'm like, around trying to find my nose. <laughs> it's a miracle we can even walk. We don't all have broken noses, dislocated knees, body by railing. <laughs> show because we were in show business and we wanted people to know our names so and we put our names in our program and nobody had a clown name. Actually keeping your clown name a deep dark secret was what we know and told, you know, I was, first I was cricket and then I was Tootsie Sweet. Man, if the guys on the show would have found out my clown name was Tootsie Sweet, I never would have heard the end of it. Because there was only two girl clowns on the show, Tammy Parrish and myself. And then my third year there was Laura Cat. So it just would have been horrible. It was like having 17 brothers. Some you liked, some you didn't. They were just nuts. So anyway, I needed a clown name, and I started working on a on a medicine show with another clown, and his clown name was Scrap at Weebo. And so uh, we had put together this medicine show, and it was Professor Scrap at Weebo, Potion, Lotion, Elixir, Hair Tonic, and Gear Loop Show <laughs> with Trisha the Clown. Right. That was about. That was like a lead balloon. I was trying to come up with a name, and it's like, hey, wait a minute, when I was in high school, my nickname was Priscilla Lucifer. It was a real person's name. And I collected real people's names on a list. We thought they were funny. My girlfriend and I would go to speech contest, and I'd be Priscilla Lucifer, and she'd introduce herself as Henrietta Eichenfeld. <laughs>
day show that tour? Oh, you could choose. That was my first one. Oh. <laughs> I took dance when I was a little kid and I had the tap dance and the little pointed hat. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> when when I was in Clown Falls, they wanted to put me, they wanted me to be in a goose. Because I was such a good slap and fall clown. And they thought, you know, Ron Sabrini came to me and said, well, we need, we, you'd be a really good goose clown. And I just wanted to be a white goose clown. And I really, really did. So they said, well, why don't you just try it? So the day I had to be in a goose clown, I ended up, I like cried all day. Because I knew that they had the power to say, well, this is what you need to do. And I was just so distraught over it. And so finally at the end of the day, oh, for pity's sake, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. And, and then they were like, well, you need to wear like loud plaids and stuff. And I said, well, I really want to be pretty. And he's like, what do you mean? And luckily, uh, Tom Hansen was my designer was on my side and he said, you know, he said, well, we, we can put some plaid in it, Ron, if you want some plaid and we can mix up the, the colors to make it, you know, not quite as, as pretty, but, uh, and he let me, he let me do my thing. Because it was funny to see a pretty clown get knocked on a t-shirt. Thank you. That's enough. Thank you very much. 